Sloan discovered her wallet was missing after leaving a motocross racing event in Oakland, California. One night in January 2016, the 22-year-old had a wallet that also served as a mini purse. She had it in her back pocket as she didn't want to carry much. Inside, her driver's license, debit card, and some cash were stored. Sloan speculated that the wallet's insecure position in her back pocket caused it to slip out easily. She believed she might have lost it when she sat down in her seat during the event. Sloan only realized it was missing after the event ended. Preparing to visit the DMV for a new driver's license, Sloan was unaware that a stranger wanted to spare her the hassle. Yes, Sloan, hailing from Sonoma County in Northern California, received a surprising phone call from her mother a few days after the racing event. A package had arrived at the family home addressed to Sloan, but neither of them recognized the return address. Sloan gave her mother permission to open it. Inside the mystery package was Sloan's lost wallet, completely intact. It turned out that someone had found the purse at the biking event and, in a display of kindness, decided to return it with all its contents, including the cash. However, the return of her belongings wasn't the most astonishing part of this story. What truly amazed Sloan was the letter that came with the package. It began, Dear Ms. Sloan, in handwritten script and continued, I found your wallet on the ground at the Supercross event in Oakland. I know how it feels to lose something, and I wanted to make sure you got your wallet back. Discovering that not only had someone returned her belongings, but had also included a heartfelt note, Sloan was further astounded when she learned the identity of the person behind this act of kindness. The letter concluded with, My name is Nassim Lawrence, and I am 10 years old. Nassim stumbled upon Sloan's wallet on the night of the sporting event while he was searching for a snack. His father, A.J. Lawrence, shared that Nassim was deeply concerned about returning the wallet to its owner. Despite his young age, Nassim understood the inconvenience Sloan would face without her driver's license. In an interview with ABC 7 News in 2016, AJ recalled Nassim's reaction. He said, Well, Dad, do you think we're going to get it to her before she has to go to the DMV? Nassim had been visibly distracted during the racing event, scanning the crowd for the girl who resembled the photo on the driver's license. He didn't want her to wait in the DMV line, AJ explained. Determined to return the lost wallet, young Nassim made it his mission. The very next day, he sought his mother's help to mail the purse to the address listed on Sloan's driver's license. However, the 10-year-old took one crucial step himself. He wrote the accompanying letter. I wanted to make her happy and make her feel better about losing something, Nassim said. Sloan was overjoyed by Nassim's act of kindness. The fact that he took the time to write it, and it was so cute, she told today. Sloan also shared what amused her most about Nassim's letter. My favorite line was, I'm glad I got it instead of some bad person, she said. Nassim's letter continued, you look like a very nice person who does nice things for people, so I wanted to do something nice for you. He also added, Hopefully, I have made you smile. Sloan was so delighted by the unexpected package that she expressed her gratitude to Nassim with more than just a smile. Sloan sent Nassim a thank you letter and a reward, $20 and a bag of candy, as a token of her appreciation. I hope he writes back, she told today. I'd love for us to be pen pals, touched by the experience. However, neither Sloan nor Nassim could have predicted what happened next. Sloan's and Nassim's good deed caught the attention of her friend Dana Wano, a DJ at the local country music station Froggy 92.9. Wano asked Sloan for permission to share the heartwarming story, and she agreed. From there, the story of Nassim's honesty the share on the radio stations, and began attracting the attention of larger news outlets. Nassim only realized his newfound superhero status when his school principal informed him about it. Surprised by this revelation, Nassim's mother, Karima Lawrence, learned about it from the principal who approached Nassim in the school hallway, exclaiming, you're famous. Prompted by the principal's remark, Karima sought out the herself, connecting with Sloan. Sloan recounted, I knew, Nassim, must have come from a remarkable family to have performed such a kind act. Nassim received formal recognition during an Antioch City Council meeting, but his newfound fame didn't stop there, thanks to Sloan's acknowledgement. His spread further, 
being picked up by various news outlets and even caught the attention of Ellen DeGeneres, Sloan, Nassim, and his parents received an invitation to appear on The Ellen DeGeneres Show to discuss Nassim's actions. When Ellen inquired about finding the wallet, Nassim provided a concise account of that night's events. When Sloan mentioned having $30 or $40 in cash in her purse, Nassim corrected her, saying, $38. Towards the end of the segment, Ellen asked Nassim what he intended to do with his reward money. His response was that he planned to save it to buy a video game. Ellen then surprised him with a new TV, gaming consoles, and one dollar, thousand worth of video games. It feels kind of odd because I've never experienced this level of fame before, Nassim said. However, this kind-hearted 10-year-old likely won't let it go to his head. He simply affirmed that returning the wallet was the morally upright action.